we are so glad that a real champion of consumers and of small businesses for the people of Minnesota, as well as for the rest of the world, from the House Financial Services Committee, Congressman Keith Allison. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks so much for being here. This is a great, great day to talk about what's going to be good for American consumers for a change. After one of the biggest financial tsunamis our country has ever faced, uh, we've seen uh, so much help for people who really, uh, really didn't, didn't seem to need it as much as the average consumer. And now, finally, we're going to get a bill that's going to help consumers. I want to say that we need legislation, and I am so proud that I'm going to be able to vote for and have worked for legislation that will bring forth greater disclosure, set forth clear rules, and allow consumers to be able to buy a financial product without fear of losing everything. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Warden really was right. If somebody told you, hey, you can buy this toaster, but it'll only burn your house down one out of four times, none of us would allow such a product to hit the market. But what if this mortgage would destroy your financial life? The fact is, many of these mortgages that were being sold were unsafe at any speed. They were financial pintos. And we're now need to do something about it. We need, some, we need to have a financial products uh, protection agency that will be able to watch out and look out for consumers. And I just want to say that, you know, whenever you try to mix consumer protection and other notable, laudable public purposes, those other purposes have been able to trump and suppress the interests of the public. This is why we've seen the Fed or even the FCC or even the FTC and many other agencies who had consumer protection within their mandate haven't been able to focus on it because they've been trying to do other things as well. Let those agencies do what they do. Let the Fed worry about monetary policy. Let the other agencies do what they do. Let's have the Consumer Financial Protection Agency focus on consumers so that we can make sure that the consumers have what they need uh, to be able to, to do well and prosper in this economy. And let's never forget that this financial malaise our country is in right now, the worst since the Great Depression, did, did not start elsewhere. It started in the consumer sector. It started, uh, this gentleman wants me to say act. He's giving me nonverbals. Small, oh, thank you. Small business. I was getting to that. This, this, uh, this, it started in the consumer area. It started in the small business area. It started with people purchasing financial products. It started with consumers. And so I just want to say that this is a critically important a moment. This is a critically important time for us to pass this important legislation. And I must say that, you know what, there's no bright line between a consumer and a, bu a small business. That's there's no thing, one day, one moment you are a small business and the next moment when you go to get some credit, you're, you're now uh, a, a consumer. And, when you're a, and, and if you're a consumer, you may be a small business. There's no bright line. So a fair financial product for a small business means a fair financial product for a consumer. And we've got to keep our mind and our eye on the ball. So look, small business people all around this country need to be glad that what we're doing right now is going to help them. And I also want to say it's going to help small community banks as well. For the first time, we're going to see a level playing field. Other, in, other folks who have been unregulated are not going to be able to just run amok while small community banks have to abide by strict regulation. And I think that will improve our economy overall. Consumers, small businesses, community banks, this is a good thing for America today. So thank you, all the consumer groups that have come together. Sorry for running here so late. We were doing votes, and I ran over here. But I ran over here because this is so important for uh, our economy, for small business people, and for consumers at large. Thank you very much. Yeah.